You know him from Oz, from The Mummy Returns, and from Get Rich or Die Trying. Now you can see him as the mysterious drug lord turned priest called Mr. Echo on Lost. Please welcome, and I, I hope I get, get this exactly right, Adewale Akinoye Agbaje. Yeah. <laughs> Did, uh, Wally, did I get your name? Am I getting it right? That's beautiful. It's, is, I'm doing it pretty good? You did. You both did brilliant. Oh, right? we did. Well, he didn't do so well, but... No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's not it what took he him says. a few tries. Yeah. But, it's uh, all love. That was, you know, for a first attempt, it's the attempt that matters. Yes. You know what I mean? It's sincerity. You, um, yeah, well, that's nice. You, uh, that name is very... A lot of people in show business will change their name. I mean, even if they have yeah. a last name like Schlossberg or something. Yeah, yeah. But you stuck with your name. Yep, I stuck with it. You did. And it shows me a full title on the screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, That's true. You normally come up first because there's a lot of A's in it. Uh-huh. And um, it, it sounds good. Do you have a nickname people call you? No, I don't do nicks. You don't do nicknames? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, wow. Really. You're going for it. Yeah, no I'm kidding. Going, I'm going for the whole one. Yeah. Does your name have a meaning, a specific meaning? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Nigerian of origin and Me from too. the Yoruba tribe. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I heard that. Different tribe though. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm from the chubby white guy tribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're actually you're from you were born in Nigeria. I was actually born in London. You're born in London. My parents came over from Nigeria. Right. So you know the way we give names, we give it you know according to the time, the, the environment, and kind of state your purpose. Adi is the crown. Wali means has come home. Akin means a warrior. Uh, Noye means of chieftaincy. Wow. And, and Agbaji means uh, prosperity and wealth. So kind of when you string it all together, you kind of figure out why you're here. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. So every time they call you, they remind you what you're here to do. Although it's lousy if you wind up working at McDonald's or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, royalty, get me some McNuggets. <laughs> the fries are up. Yeah. But it worked out well for you. It did, yeah. Yeah, are I you mean, from a big family? Um, yeah, the only boy of four, four girls. Four girls? Yeah, yeah. Did they get names that were difficult to live up to? Well, we've all got the, la the same last name, same, except yeah. the ones that married. But, um, you know, it depends where you come from. from. Where we're from, this is normal. But obviously coming to the West and, and America, it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's novel. How do you wind up becoming um, an actor? Um, your family's from Nigeria, <clears throat> you grow up in London, you wind up on this American TV show. I'm still trying to figure that out now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a long story, but in short, uh, you know, my parents came from a generation of immigrants that came to Britain. And so, you know, education back in those days was a salvation. And being the only boy, you were going to follow father's suit. So I basically did it up until a point where I felt satisfied. What did your father do? He became a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Oh, a lawyer. He's a barrister. Oh, wow. So, so is that was your plan to be a lawyer? No, that was his plan. Oh, that was his plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, you, my plan has always been the same. Did you pretend that was your plan for a little while? Uh, no, I never pretended. No, I, yeah. I just I kind of you know you respect you know respect for the father and the parents is it's a huge thing in African culture and I did it as far as it could go without compromising my own integrity. And then um, once I kind of got to a level which was master's degree in law. I decided to pursue my heart. Really? You went that far with it? Yeah. And then you decided you wanted to be an actor? Well, not really. I didn't know what I wanted to be, actually. Oh. I just knew that what I didn't want to be. I knew I didn't want to be a lawyer, so um, I kind of just knew that I wanted to get out and uh -huh. just taste the world. And I was always very creative. Uh, I knew that I, I was an artist because I used to draw, I was into fashion. So, you know what I mean? I kind of figured. Maybe get out there and see what it offers. Try some things. Where did you go when you got out of, what is it, London? or? You say? No, you know, when I was um, at college, I used to, you know, you do all kinds of jobs to get you through. And one of them was working in a store. And so somebody came in and we used to loan the clothes out to people doing fashion shoots. And so she'd ask one day she could borrow the clothes and uh, could she borrow me to shoot in it. Oh, really? So, oh, you got picked up by a female photographer? Basically. Wow. Did you make love to her? <laughs> what do you do? 
<laughs> I think it was all part of the job, you know. But, um, How but much that, did you that, get? That kind of spawned it. <laughs> that kind of spawned. That kind of spawned my interest in it. Yeah. Well, well, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's way better than lawyering. Oh, hell yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And what was your first acting job? First acting job, um, like real big movie was Congo. You know, oh, right. Marshall. That was a you know the first entrance, but. I kind of scurried around doing lots of videos and, and, and commercials. And, and you're on Oz. Yeah. You're on Oz, which was a, a pretty intense show. Yeah. And, <laughs> you, like, do you find, like, do, do convicts and ex-convicts come up to you and say, oh, yeah, we watched you on that show? Is that, is, does, I mean, because that show was, they say it was very realistic. They do, yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. I get, I do. You I do? Get, I get a lot of um, people have done time that can... Really, terrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's inspiring in a sense because you you do the job in order to tell their story, and so you have to keep integrity. So when they come up to you and actually say, "Yeah, that, that happens for real," or yeah. this, you know, you, you, I do. I get a lot of it. Yeah, and you have to be nice because they, they could have killed these guys. <laughs> well, I had to be good. Now let me ask you this question because, by the way, I think you're fantastic on Lost. You're a great addition to <laughs> that. Oh. And last week was your big episode. We learned your backstory. We learned that you you'd been a priest and that um, you'd killed some drug runners and in a very brutal way. And uh, well, no, your brother was a priest. You actually took your brother, and when your brother died, you took kind of you continued his work as a priest. And you also went face to face with the monster, which we really got to see for the first time. Show a clip of that, does from last week's Lost. That's awesome. And you're not, you're not scared at all of that thing. Why weren't you, well, your character, why wasn't Mr. Echo scared of the monster? Well, mainly because it was three men running toward me with a camera. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, Guys you'd eaten lunch with, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, you know, but, um, I mean, my take on it as a character, um, the monster can only devour what is evil. So we kind of checked out my soul, sussed me out, and figured, nah, this one's all good. Oh, really? And then went back to his hell. What about the part where you're chopping into people's faces with that big sip? <laughs> well, that don't count, because you're killing bad people. Oh, I see. You know, it kind of, it kind of equals itself up. Very good. Well, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Well, you're great yeah, at least that's show. my theory. Yeah, yeah. well, sure. <laughs> yeah, well, who am I to argue? You're yeah, Mr. Yeah. Echo, for God's sake. There we go. Adewale Akinoye Agbaze. Is that good? I'm going to get a great by the end of that. Wednesday nights at 9 on ABC. Stick around. We'll be right back with well, Super Chief Ballroom Dancer, Julius James.